about maximizing my own pleasure. So I've been thinking for a while now, why not start seeing movies, you know, without even seeing a trailer first? And my favorite thing when I walk out of a movie is being able to say, well, nobody told me that would happen. Well, why not set it up where I know nothing at all about what I'm walking into, so I can say that about literally the entire movie. And no matter what happens, I can say, well, nobody told me that would happen. So the first time doing this, I thought I'd go see John Wick. I was vaguely aware it had some heat on it from the festivals, but I hadn't seen a trailer or a commercial. I hadn't read a plot description. I had no idea if it was based on a novel or a comic book or a video game or whatever. I still don't. I just saw a banner ad. I saw a poster. I thought I'd go see that. Well, full disclosure, here's what I knew about John Wick. From the poster, it seemed like it might have that trashy, neon-drenched, Gaspar Noe, Nicholas Winding Refn, direct-to-video, Universal Soldier sequel quality that I'm really a sucker for, because it means whatever I'm about to watch is going to be really unnecessarily lurid, and I'm a garbage man with garbage taste. I like lurid. I knew it had Keanu Reeves. I knew it had him pointing a gun. That's awesome, because I'm a huge Keanu Reeves fan. I've seen every one of his movies. I haven't seen Constantine, 47 Ronin, Feeling Minnesota, The Replacements, Sweet November, Hardball, Feeling Minnesota, The Lake House, The Day the Earth Stood Still, but I've seen most of the others. Here's what I would have known had I watched the trailer. First and foremost, I would not have to have asked myself, Hey, is Keanu Reeves back? Because he says it in the trailer. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thinking, thinking I'm, I'm back. <laughs> I would have known that it's a story about a freshly widowed man covered in tattoos, avenging the murder of his beagle. The trailer even shows him burying the beagle in a shoebox in his backyard. The dead beagle revenge element of the narrative was made perfectly clear by the studio. Yet, this was a wrinkle in the narrative that surprised me. I would have recognized that, given that his car is New Jersey plates and he's shown pumping his own gas, which is illegal in the state of New Jersey, that this movie has no connection to reality. I would have known that it featured in some capacity the well-hung national treasure Willem Dafoe and the presumably well-hung Ian Duchesne. I love them both. I would have known that people keep asking Keanu Reeves he's back, and yeah, he's thinking he's back. I'm thinking I'm back. In my opinion of John Wick, it's ultimately irrelevant. It's a movie where Keanu Reeves assuages his guilt by driving to the airport and doing donuts in the runway. It's exactly the kind of movie where that kind of thing happens. If you've seen the trailer, if you've even seen the poster or a banner ad, you would know if John Wick is something that you'll want to see. But the lesson you should take away is, watch a trailer before you buy a ticket, because you might be ambushed by a dead beagle. That'll be totally your fault.